Hello and welcome to the Practical Animal channel. The channel is for you if you want to know what it takes to work with animals. Domestic animals are wild. If wild, with free living animals or animals in captivity. We aim to cover it all. Today's video, however, is covering a, an aspect of animal management that is very dear to my heart. It's bird of prey husbandry and management. I want to talk specifically about hybridization and hybrid falcons. We've got a hybrid falcon here. I'd like to thank Tristan for appearing in the video today. In this, vid in this video, we're going to be talking about hybridization of falcons. Why is it done? So, falcons are readily obtainable in the UK and hybrid falcons are readily obtainable. Why would you captive breed a hybrid falcon? First of all, what is this? Tristan, what is this hybrid falcon here? It's a peregrine gia seca hybrid. Why would somebody produce a peregrine gia falcon seca hybrid or a gia peri seca hybrid? Well, in order to obtain the characteristics of a geo falcon, the characteristics of a peregrine falcon, and the characteristics of a seca. In order to really know those characteristics, you have to know the hunting strategies of a wild geo falcon, a wild peregrine falcon, and a wild seca falcon. Even then, it's the bird that is the result of that hybridization. It's still gonna be a bit of a chance that you're taking because there is no guarantee that those desirable traits of the hunting gear falcon, the hunting peregrine falcon and the hunting saker will be expressed in the offspring. But in a word, that is why falcons are hybridized in captive breeding to take the desirable hunting traits of those different pure species. And while a market exists for hybrid falcons, they will continue to be produced legally. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like and for more exclusive content on wildlife, the countryside and the animal industry, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Tristan. And thank you, Gust.